You know, I look at this, this story from yesterday, it's almost like a, a NIST assessment gone bad. But it wasn't bad. Like this, the NIST assessment wasn't bad. It was done the way a NIST assessment is supposed to be done. It's a check, check the box type, type of a program, and they're asking you questions the, uh, that are totally relevant uh, about policy, procedure. And what was, <laughs> what was interesting, though, this is a 350-person company, insurance company. So the CIO had spent two years off playing offense, adding new system functionality. I mean, he got hired two years ago, and he's leaning into offense right away, which he should. But now he's spending 20, 2018 building um, a foundation, building the foundation upon which his systems can sit from a security point of view. So it makes sense. Just call a NIST assessment person and have them come in. The problem was he was frustrated because it, there's nothing practical that came out of it. It was just uh, go write some policies. Um, there, there was nothing about what was, what order he was to do the work in, um, how to prioritize it, how to budget for it, where's the plan, where's the roadmap. It essentially was just a 40-page document that got plopped on, a, on his desk and with four major macro recommendations that were actually in wrong order. Now actually there are five major macros and so from a practical point of view, just using, you know, we talked about the Pareto principle, the, what's the 20% of that assessment that he could get done now that would get 80% of his result from a security point of view? And there was none of that analysis. It was go write a policy or, or, or stuff that he knows he's got to get done. He doesn't have people to actually go write the policy intelligently, so that has to be solved. But all of the systems level stuff that actually keeps the, 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 uh, the, the hackers or the bad actors out, none of that was listed. It was just listed as a group of fix your documentation, fix your network diagrams and stuff like that that has no relevance to like him actually doing something. So I do um, recommend someone you do a framework, a ISO framework, 27001, a NIST, uh, PCI, HIPAA. I mean, it, do, it actually doesn't matter. There are very little differences between them. So you got to find which one is in, relevant in your industry. And, and certainly we can do that as well. My team's help with that. However, the most important piece is not the framework. It's what to do with the framework. It's the build plan. It's the action plan. It's, it's prioritization. It's selecting. It's decommissioning. What's being decommissioned as much as what's being commissioned. How you're, who in your team do you want to use for this? Do you want to be security experts or do you want to be a governor and then hire security experts, partners and your own internal team and uh, leverage uh, expertise around you. Uh, so, so these are these are it was, it was really interesting to actually look at what I would consider an A caliber, A minus caliber CIO, and actually see him struggle with a with a NIST assessment. Again, nothing wrong with a NIST assessment, but that's not about the NIST assessments. What you do with the NIST assessment that makes the the biggest difference.